chin. Oh, shit. What's going on, chat? Chad Moran. Hello. Welcome back to another uh, Two Wheel Tuesday. Yeah, didn't even know what I was doing. We're back on Zwift. We're starting a new series this month for November. It is the World Tour uh, series. So the Zwift Ride series. Um, so it looks like these are 60 minute rides and we're just in a big old group and so that's pretty much it so we're going all over the place hey what's up valve valves by the way hopefully i got that name right so let's get in there and get everything set up so we're gonna be doing an hour on the bike this month i'm not going to be pushing super hard i'm just going to be kind of cruising since i do have a race on the 18th followed by thanksgiving and all that stuff it's only a three uh, ride series so we're just going to be doing it just for exercise what the heck are we wearing it's it looks like it looks like a, the dodge ram logo <laughs> does it not all right we still got some time before and since it's going to be like a group ride we're not racing this month I gotta get a little bit of a calf stretch going real quick. Sorry, I'm off camera, but it's fine. Oh. Today was leg day, and I went extra hard on the calves, so they are pretty tight. You know, I don't even know. Did he even give us a route or how? It says the 2015 UCI World's Course, so I have no idea what the elevation or anything is going to be like. Guess we'll find out, won't we? Next one. Do 30 seconds on each leg. That's the plan. Minimum 30 second stretch on each muscle. Oh yeah, that feels good. I see Wang. There's a C Wang in there. I saw his name. We don't have like barely anybody. There's only 22 people in this group. Hopefully more people come in. And it says that it goes from one to five kilowatts. I don't know if it's what I saw in a different series earlier, because I was trying to figure out exactly what I had to sign up for, for this event. And there was another event going on where it says you can join like a, a group C, which is like one and a half, like two and a half watts, or yeah, watts per kilo. And it said just, you know, to, like stay in that band, like that uh, bandwidth or whatever. And then this, like the E class said it was one to five kilo, or one to five watts per kilo, kind of like this one. But it said something like rubber band group ride or something, where I guess it slows down the people up front and it pulls the people in the back forward. So I'm not really sure. What that's all about? Well, that's a cool little touch. So my guy is sitting in the shade and the little logo is not like reflected. Even the guy next to me, you can see his logo starting to not be reflected. That's a cool little touch. I like that the shadow causes it to not be reflected. That's pretty slick. All right, here we go. He so said, we're not doing anything crazy. We're just going to be doing some, it's, it's just exercise this month. No racing this month, just exercise. We got an hour of it. So let's just kind of relax this month and not kill ourselves, especially uh, these next couple weeks. Well, this week and next week with schooling and everything. It, it's super crunch time right now. And I don't want to be burning myself out. Well, that guy in front of me, uh, he's like directly in front of me. So Zwifters, welcome to the week one of the Zwift World Tour Series. Thank you, I guess. But anyway, he's got that hat on. I thought it was like a haircut. I was like, is that Guile from uh, Street Fighter? That would've been funny. So I just don't know what wattage I want to be holding for that long. 
Over the next 60 minutes, we'll read closely into one of the longest running UCI World Tour teams. Movie star team, I guess, whatever it said. Okay. Ooh, that'll boost. I'm gonna move my mouse over to that. It's gonna be blinking the whole time. Hopefully that doesn't bother anybody. I see Wang. See if I recognize any names. H Subaru. Don't recognize that name, I don't think. Yeah, I don't recognize any of the names in here. At least not right now. Could change Ride later. On. 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 The year 2023 marks their 44th consecutive season of activity, now competing across men, women, esports, and gravel divisions. That's pretty cool. That'd be cool if it just gave us a little facts the whole time. Did we just go through a sprint gate? No, I, if so, I'm imagining that we're wearing that team's jersey and pants or uh, shorts or whatever. So their kit. And honestly, I like it. I think it looks pretty slick. Yeah, I wonder if it's going to give us just like facts the whole time. That means the movie star teams have won around 1,000 UCI races since they reached the world tour level. Bonkers. That is bonkers. A thousand races. Must be a big ass team, man. Dude, this is a nice pace. There's nothing crazy. This is just a simple cruise so far. We'll see if anybody kicks up the pace. Because I even think if I went nuts, if I would end up pulling out in front. It says I'm in 25th out of 30th, though. So what is that all about? Is there a breakaway or something? Can people just take off? And yes, you read correctly, Movie Star has an esports team. Cool. Why is everything ended with exclamation points? Alright, now we gotta put some power in. Just wanna get up front a little bit. Let's see who else is in here? So what if I drop the hammer right now? 500 watts. Nothing. It's not gonna let me push out front. It'll just put me at the front of the group. So yeah, this is gonna be a nice, easy ride. If you are competing in this WIP Grand, uh, Grand Prix rounds, so make sure to tune in and support when the races kick off in October. That was last month. Why'd they have the, having us do this for November? Maybe they should have done this in September or something. <laughs> So September was the uh, Oktoberfest rides. Yeah, so I guess this is a rubber band group ride.
This ride is the perfect chance to get to know the Movie Star team and their riders a bit better. My front tire is already flat. <laughs> I gotta really change that too, though. I've just been too busy to deal with it. Heck, I gotta replace the damn alternator on my truck. I just haven't had time. I might do it Thanksgiving weekend. I don't know. Maybe this weekend. We'll see. This would be like a good time to kind of like just look at the look around at the scenery. In other words, you'll get a sense of who these athletes are on and off the bike. Okay. Where are they? How are they talking? Air time. I'm already getting warm. I'm trying to think of what the schedule's like. So today's the seventh. So that means next week will be the 14th. And then the 21st. So I guess we will be riding Thanksgiving week. So I don't think we're going to be taking a day off from Zwift this month. But maybe next month because of Christmas and all that jazz. So we've sprinkled in some fun questions here and there. Well, because that's the Zwift way. Okay. So maybe this will go the whole time. That's kind of interesting. It'll give me something to kind of learn and look at. Everybody's having a good Tuesday. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, whatever day you happen to be watching it, having a good day. If you're watching this on YouTube, it'd be really cool if you followed me on Twitch. There's a link in the description below the video. Before we start, let's give an introduction to these movie star riders. And if you don't want to click the link below the video, you just go in your browser and type twitch.tv forward slash tilted underscore park. And you'll see the same logo pop up. You just go in there. Come join us for one of the live streams. Oh, wait, was it actually counting as a sprint? Okay, well, I got 10 out of 26, and I'm just like barely doing anything. Probably because uh, everybody else wasn't doing anything either. Sari Gigante, a 23-year-old Aussie that breaks the barriers even faster than she climbs. Didn't read the rest of it. Damn, that went by fast. Hopefully you guys got to see that, because I did. That's probably the longest one they had on there, and like, it was the least amount of time to read it. Go up a gear.
Luis Moss, a Spanish cyclist and jack of all trades on Movie Star Team since 2019. He is best known for protecting the main leaders and the Movie Star Team. Something else. Dude, they gotta give me more time. I can't even read that shit. I'm off to speed read it. Kind of like uh, someone who's nervous in school and they're told to read out loud. So it looks like those little pop-ups are coming up every minute, I think. So in five, four, three, two, one. Matthias Norsgaard is a Danish powerhouse with lots to offer. He is the tallest rider that has ever been a part of the team. How tall is he? I don't know. They give you 10 seconds to read it. This is a small group. We only got 34 people in here. Riding at six feet five inches. Matthew has joined the Movie Star team in 2020. He's two inches taller than I am. I'm a big old tall boy. I think I might be shrinking a bit though, <laughs> to be honest with you. T Stamper. Will Bart is a Boise raised American that is said to be a huge asset in all terrains. Where Barta is also a gifted and decorated time trialist. I think the reason I'm not recognizing any of these names, I think H. Subaru, I recognize that guy's name. Just swore I've ridden with them before, because I remember the name. Will shared humble beginnings with a close teammate, Matteo Jorgensen, having gone to the same development camp with him for cycling. I did not know they had development camps. anybody's going to do anything for the sprint that's coming up. Who knows? Ooh, I like that guy's hair. It's kind of like my hair, but a little bit more mohawky. He's the guy that's like hidden behind the board. Oh, he just fell off. All right. Emma Norsgaard is also known by the phrase full speed. Emma is a Danish rider that can be recognized by two things. Her blue eyes and opposable thumbs. I don't know. <laughs> Her outstanding sprint ability. Let's see the other one. And the resemblance to another team rider named Matthias. And the Norse guards are the first male and female sibling riders in history to be a part of the same UCI World Tour team. That's pretty cool. It's in their blood. I'm sure their parents are big cyclists too, I'd imagine. Ooh. 
What if I put like some power down on this? Oh, this guy's coming. I'm not really sprinting, but. Based on the wattage output, the Japanese guy should have me freaking stomped here. If I came in seventh on that, that's bullshit. I, I don't know. I don't know how they're freaking doing that. <laughs> Kind of weird. Let's dive into the Q and A. Okay. Are people going to actually ask questions? I'm sure you have to have the app to do that if that's what they're doing. at 113. I feel like it's a little bit higher than that. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Don't forget to have your Zwift companion app up and running to chat with fellow Zwifters. I don't have the app. I don't know if you can get it for the computer, but I can't have it on my phone because since my phone's an LG, and LG shut down their, uh, I guess, phone side of things. They no longer, uh, no longer support like operating system updates or anything. So the app no longer work on my phone. Same with my bank and all these other ones. Freaking LG making a good phone to where, like, they lost their ass on it. Where's your favorite place in the world to ride your bike? Ooh, that'd be a good one. Where would I want to go? Somewhere in the Mediterranean would be pretty cool. Probably in Turkey, I would guess. Along the Turkish coast would be nice. I'd still love to ride on the big island of Hawaii. Serge Gante, in Girona, I love riding around St. Hilary, Salcom, and in Melbourne. You can always find me out near Kings Lake or King Lake. Ozzy, 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 oi, oi, oi. Twenty minutes in, forty minutes to go. Who's Malas from Maloroka? Without doubt, has all the conditions for these sports. Good weather, a lot of kilometers and mountains, and services for cyclists. Oh, well, that'd be cool. Here where I live in Southern California, they have uh, like these, uh, I, I think, I don't know if they're along like a certain route, but it's along the coast. Let's see. Will Barta, I think my favorite place is near my Europe home and nice. You have everything, mountains, quiet roads, good weather, and good training partners. But along this route here in SoCal, or at least along the coast, they had these like cyclist aid stations that they set up along the, the coast highway. 
and so I, I don't know how far apart their space I've just seen a few of the stations but they have all the tools basically that most bikes need all like kind of all kind of wired and attached to these posts and uh, bicycle pumps also which is really cool I like that and then there's coffee shops and stuff all along that route good places to stop and have a snack and a cafe break A little bit of an uphill here. Slight, but it's there. What's your favorite food for training? Oh, this would actually be good. I would love to know what they use for food. One of my personal favorite things like during races, like uh, the triathlons is, well even when I do a Spartan race, is having Gatorade. That is Norsgaard. I basically only drink my carbs in training and mix of fructose and maltodextrin. Maltodextrin, I have to look into that. Unless you want to do that for me, Chad, that'd be great. But the reason I like Gatorade is it's got all your sugars, salts, it hydrates you, it's freaking great. So Gigante, my favorite training foods is definitely the classic hot cross bun. What the fuck is a hot cross bun? I feel that's like a, a crucifix tattoo on your lower back. There's nothing better than when the nine packs of mini hot cross buns make their appearance in the supermarkets back home in Australia. Don't know what those are. I imagine it's probably some sort of like Dessert. Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, Pulse! Ah! Oh, my face! Oh! My shoulder! My shoulder again! My shoulder again! Oh! I would have been done for. I would have been that asshole that takes out the whole group. Man, my underwear, I shouldn't have worn them with these shorts, but they're starting to bind up and chafe a bit. At least this far. I need to wear my Lululemons when I do this. What advice would you give to a rider starting out in professional cycling? Train hard, ride every day, I'm sure. Something basic. Never give up. Try your hardest. The harder you train, the funner race day is. Sergio Gigante, I would tell any rider starting out in professional cycling or in cycling in general to be patient, enjoy the process, and feel comfortable in asking for help. Looks like we got a hill coming. Average 6.4%. I'll use my fellow way on this one. Matthews Northgard. Live a simple life, get as much sleep as possible, eat healthy, and most important of all, have a very close connection to your coach.
Well, Bart, it is important to realize how fast it goes, so make the most of the opportunities and try to get better every day. What's up, Combo? How's it going? Saw you uh, playing some rain earlier today. Oh, fuck, 10%. Shit. So tired. Oh, man, I'm sorry to hear that. At least you got your stream in, though. the best feature of the Canyon Arrow CFR? Now those Canyon bikes are fucking expensive. I want one though. Now there's Norris Guard. Speed, arrow, and stiffness. Races are becoming faster and faster, so arrow is actually becoming everything. Yeah, you know, those damn UCI rules, man. They do not like arrow. World well, Combat is rough online, but finished with a win and fatality, so eh. Well, that's good. At least you finished with one. I saw you were fighting one guy. It was a. Uh, he had Sub Zero, and then his uh, cameo character, or whatever, was also Sub Zero. I was like, you can do that? This is another King of the Mountain. Jeez, two of them in a row. Oh man, I need new shoes. I'm pulling up on the pedals and like these shoes just feel so big now. I lost all my feet fat. Who's your favorite band musician to listen to all right? All training. Sub Zero is very in your face all the time. Yeah. Sarah Gigante, I've been listening to podcasts. We have, I have a hard interval session I was with, and I love to listen to any music that's fast and upbeat. Yeah, there's quotes on screen. And so, damn, give me a minute. Uh, the hell is that me? But uh, what they're doing is there's a group ride, so everyone's going to be piled together the whole time, I like guess. And we go for 60 minutes, and. So, 
basically everyone's dressed what I'm assuming is the the kit for a team called movie star there's a cycling team and so they have three professionals from the team I think there's three three or four of them sitting in the wherever they're at and anybody who's uh, on the, the Zwift app can ask questions. What race are you most excited for next year? Yeah, so if you have the Zwift app on your phone or your tablet, anybody that's in this group where I can ask some questions, they'll answer it. For the 60 minutes. So that's pretty cool. Since this isn't a real race, people are just kind of just chat. Who's Mons? Paris Roubaix. It's a race that I suffered more, but I enjoy more. You know, all these hills coming up. That's really good. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Emma Nordsgaard, Tour de France, Femmes avec Zwift 100%, <laughs> whatever. This Zwift race, come on. Trying to take it easy a bit today, or this month, really. Especially since I have a race coming up in two weeks, I don't want to end up pulling something or something stupid. Like I did a couple weeks ago, I ended up breaking my toe. How many hours per week are you on the bike? If they were asking me, I'd say... On average, like 90 minutes. So not a lot. I'm in Norsgaard. It really depends if I'm in a training block or altitude or in a race period. It's normally around 20 to 24 hours a week. Oh man, that's a lot of seat of the pants on. What race am I doing? The Spartan Race Beast in Phoenix. So over in Arizona. Who is Maz? Around 20 hours. Maybe when you aren't focused on an objective in a training camp, we have a week of 28 hours. A lot of time. So if I spend like 90 hours or 90 minutes a week on the bike, about 60 minutes running a week, right now and then uh, probably about six hours in the gym maybe seven doing weight training so you know I'll say about 10 hours of exercise I do a week
on average. I figure a lot of people would say every day. Well, they probably are on there almost every day. I mean, 28 hours a week. Break that up. Now you're looking at like almost three hours a day or almost four hours a day. Are there any characteristics about the movie star team that differ from other teams in the world tour? Now what I was saying at the beginning is uh, I do like the the kit that we're wearing. I kind of like that M logo. Looks pretty cool. Kind of looks like a Dodge Ram logo. <laughs> Who's Moss? I think that in Movie Star we have a second family. When you go to the races, you're with friends. That's got to be nice. It's always fun racing with people, you know. It's like they get off work and ride everywhere on their bike. Yeah, pretty much. Will Barda. Movie Star has a bit more of a familiar, familial feeling to the long history of the team, friendly staff and riders, as much as some other shit. Can't read fast enough. You gotta remember, these are pro riders, so I don't know if they have day jobs. They could. Because not all pros make money to you know, support a family. Based on their kit, I only see maybe two or three sponsors on there, so... You have Canyon, which is a bike company. Then... Technologies Tech or something, which is probably like some sort of university. And then O2, I don't know what that is. I think that says Technologies Tech. It's on the leg, I can't see it. I don't know if there's anything on the left sleeve. Because I'm on the right side, I can't see. Who's your funniest teammate? If I was answering that, I would say me. Because I technically have a race team for Spartan Race. But it's just me. <laughs> I tried for years to get I encourage people to join. I'm in North Scott, 100% ought to be young Nick. We're sure the rest of the team don't understand our French Danish humor. rubbing a bit. Yeah. What's the next question? What are they guys? Anybody else want to answer that one? That guy right behind me, he's got, I think that's a beret, isn't it, that hat? Looks like some sort of pastry. Man, look at the guy in the statue doing a wheelie, dude. Freaking hardcore, bruh.
What are the team's thoughts on how the sport of cycling has evolved into what it is today? They're pros, they wanna say they love it. Wonder what result I would get if I Googled do pro bikers have day jobs? I don't know, try it out, let me know what you find. <laughs> Will Bart and Movie Star is doing a good job working to surpass the other teams. The team also wants to keep its strong identity, which has led to many successes. No, I don't think I've had any water this right at me. The team is focused on improving all aspects of cycling, including training, nutrition, equipment, and the mental aspect. Mental's a big one. If you're able to just zone out while racing, you can just go and go and go. Who's Moss? We think that we must look at the future of cycling through all the channels is offered in. We want a presence. Okay. So we got a recent 22 TV version of the <laughs> Rebirth event. The Tour de France fans of X with would have been incredible because the promotion and races were both outstanding. Ooh, barely got through that one. There's a guy on top of that van in a Zwift Z costume, that was funny. Matthias Norsgaard, World Championship in Copenhagen 2011, or Grand Depart in Copenhagen 2022. Okay, so pro quote-unquote cyclists on TV don't have jobs, yeah. But there are people that are, you know, professionals technically, and get paid for it, but they just don't make enough to, you know, quit their day job. <clears throat> Man, these guys are going for this sprint. If you were able to go back and be part of any race in history, which race would it be? I think that last guy answered that question already. But the question came through afterwards. come down this way we once oh we did we're just looping back around on it again I wonder if we're gonna hit those hills again because we only got 15 minutes left who's the most bike tech obsessed rider in the team boost just so it stops blinking at me and it's not gonna give me any benefit overall I would have to say Matthews North Guard <laughs> I gotta imagine some of these pro riders are just super picky about like small things on their bike like if their seat post is off by like a millimeter they probably notice Matthias Norsgaard, Matteo Jorgensen, arrow-wise, it's me. <laughs> so 
I don't think the UCI allows aerial bars, kind of like what I have here on my bike, which you guys can't see. That's why I'm sitting down in this position. I don't think they allow that. So since you guys can't see it, aerial bars are basically, there's a pad here and I sit like this. There's pads the rest of my forearms on. Kind of like ski poles. And that's where the shifters are at the end of those. So I have to be in this position to shift gears. And if I want to hit the brakes, I got to pop to the outer bars, which is kind of scary. But this bike is meant for time trials and triathlon, so you're supposed to be down in that position for a long time and not need the brakes. But this setup is not, it's not right for me the way it is. I need to get fitted properly. It's just not comfortable. What's the most productive training session you do? I had a 12 speed Schwinn I used to ride through town. It was so fun. I'm assuming you were meant to spell Schwinn. Yeah, the E's next to the W. You meant to spell Schwinn. <laughs> yeah, cycling's fun. Most productive. Oh, I fucking missed it. Cycling's a, a really good time when you have people to ride with. Or if you have a very scenic area to ride through. When I was training for my first triathlon, I did a nice like, ended up being like, I don't know, 55 mile ride along the coast. From my, I started my ride when it was still dark and then the sun was coming up. It was a clear day, nice cool breeze, just fucking gorgeous, it was quiet. Just the waves crashing on the beach is when people started coming out a lot of other like people out running and stuff great Schwinn or Schwinn I think so uh, with two ends if I recall I think Schwinn still makes bikes Right, at this pace, I don't think we're going to be getting back to the climbs, which I'm 100% okay with. That's all we have time for today. We hope you've enjoyed getting a getting to know more about the Movie Star team. We look forward to cheering them on next season. Yay! And they still got 10 minutes. They gave up early. Give us more facts. You still got 10 minutes worth of facts. Yeah, Combo, I think it'd be, uh, well, all depends on what uh, he's into, but maybe you and Grandmaster can get into cycling something you guys do like once a week or something father son team a little like 30 minute one hour rides or something either road cycling or mountain biking or something mountain biking is always a good time that's always just a blast. I love mountain biking so much. I miss it. I have two mountain bikes. I just need to go ride. Be sure to check out others' Whip World Tour events over the coming weeks. Will do.
all I can say combo is if you're gonna get a couple of bikes don't go if you're gonna be riding them often enough don't go cheap you don't have to go like stupid expensive but honestly I think like a thousand dollars to fifteen hundred bucks each Bicycles are expensive these days. got downhill coming oh yeah so now I got nothing to read that's keeping me distracted oh there we go enjoy the remainder of your ride up since I said there's nothing else to read they throw something else up it'd be funny if they give us like just stupid little games at the end pick a number one through a hundred <laughs> Like 47. And the number was two. Ah, well. Oh, I can't sit down there in position anymore. I want to. It hurts. Well, I'm going to get a nap. I just wanted to drop by. Have a good race. All right, Combo. Thanks for stopping by, man. Hopefully, you get a good sleep and. Feel well rested for work or whatever. So have a good one, man. Right on. Oh, we ended up with up to 41 riders now by the end. We started with like 26 or 30. Somewhere in there. Oh man, my stomach hurts so bad right now. I'm hungry. Kilted hungry. Kilted need num nums. I've only eaten like 1800 calories today. Eaten, ingested, and I've burned as of right now 3034. Ugh. And it's just now hit 7 p.m. So if I were sitting on my ass, I'd be burning about 100 calories an hour. It gives me 500 more calories. Plus whatever I'm going to be adding right here in the last few minutes. Plus the cool down burn. Is that if you get done exercising, your body's still burning calories at a higher rate. So... If I did not eat anything after this, which won't happen because I'm definitely going to eat, I would have an 1800 calorie deficit. That's over half a pound of pure body fat. But I will eat something. I'm not taking 500 calories, so. Eat my dinner, do some dishes, go shit, shower, shave, and go to bed. And brush my teeth. Don't forget to brush your teeth. And floss. 
always floss. Yeah, oh, this featherweight thing. We're not going to hit the mountain before the end of the ride, or the uh, time portion of the ride. Well, we'll probably reach it on the cool down. Two and a half more minutes. How far are we going? We're just about to hit 17 miles. So not a super fast pace. We've definitely gone further faster before. It's definitely a cruise ride. I got a good puddle of sweat under my bike here. Not big enough to see my reflection in though. trucks. Where are we? Is that the estimated finish line right there? <laughs> it's moving. <laughs> I think everyone's like starting to pick up the pace or they going to push it back or <laughs> I think some of these guys are going to push it right at the end to see how far back we can move that finish line. <laughs> That'd be fun. That guy's putting in some effort for it for sure. He's up into the five, <laughs> five watts per kilo. Let's get up into three at least, maybe four. Yeah, let's push that thing back. <laughs> Push it back, push it back, push it back, push it back. Can we move it? 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 There it is. <laughs> All right, there's our stats just for the 60 minutes. 190 watt average, 17.7 .7 miles. I don't know what the TTS is. 657 calories, which equates to 2.3 slices of pizza. Cracked 530 watts at one point. Uh, must have been going uphill. I guess we just reached the mountain right now. <laughs> I'm not going to be going super hard. I'm going to try to kick it down to about 100 watts going up this. So we have like a nice little five minute cool down. I'll drop the gears. Ah.
a lot less stressful than the race series. That's for sure. Now I have to like force myself to go slow. 100 watts. Can I drop the gears more? Right about there, it's good. Just creeping up this hill at a blistering three miles an hour. Yeah, look at me go. Flying. I'm, I'm still like kind of rolling over my head whether or not I'm gonna stream this on Thanksgiving weekend, which would be the 21st, I think. Yeah, the 21st. I might not stream this, it all depends, because I am racing on the 18th. So I might be really tired, first off. And second, especially if I get injured or something, I probably won't do it. And then second, we would have the 28th still to do something. And this is only a three-stage series. I'll probably still stream on the 21st. It just might not be this. We might do something else. Maybe just a sit-down, relaxing video game. Oh, man, look at the clipping of the freaking ground graphics. That was terrible right there. Man, my guy's about to fall over, we're going so slow. Ten percent incline. Drop it. Old man speeds. I think I had it down to two miles an hour at one point. What the heck is up with the freaking grade on this? It's like 10, 2, 8, 5. I'm like, what the hell? What is happening? I wonder if we're going to make it to the top of this in time. I only wanted to do a five minute cool down. We might just go to the top of the hill. I mean, it's just around this next corner. One mile an hour! 15, I think it said 19% at one spot. <laughs> I'm almost at a standstill. 27, 28, 27%? What the? F I didn't even know that went that high. <laughs> When you're going really slow, you really see like where they were just trying to mold two damn elevations together when they're modeling the game. That's hilarious. I've never seen that before. Get the gears up. Back up high. So we're ready for our next week. All right, we hit the five minutes. Let's just get up this. And then we're done, as soon as we cross through this. It's probably the slowest KOM I've ever done. All right, what did it say? So I did it in 503. What was my last time? It had to be like two something. One fifty six was my that was just on the previous lap. So when we were in the group I did in one fifty six just cruising. So this time it took me five minutes. Trying to keep it around hundred watts. Alright, let's end it there. We added another seven hundred and eighty nine feet to our Everest challenge. Let's check out the challenge. 
12,454 feet out of the 29,028 feet we need to climb. Almost halfway there. Cool, we're getting up there. Hopefully we get that Tron bike from doing this. I can't remember if we have to get up this thing like three times. I thought I read somewhere. Or once, I don't know. I thought it said three, I just don't know why. So we're at 42%. Dun, dun. All right, and drive. There's our stats. Almost 700 calories total. Nice, nice calm ride. Didn't kill myself. Feels good. Definitely need a break from killing myself on this game, that's for sure. All right, Chatamaran, thanks for watching very much. Uh, we'll be back on Thursday for Therapy Thursday with Hysteria. Uh, I'm not really sure what we're going to be talking about this time. But if you want some mental health uh, support or have any questions, stop on by 6.30 p.m. Pacific time right here every Thursday. So we'll see you guys later. Have a wonderful evening. Bye, Chad.